What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's gorgeous out right here in Connecticut. It's probably like 83 degrees out, something like that. But uh, anyways, I took the quad out for a rip quick, do a test and tune before and after. So today's video is going to be FCR carburetor on your LTZ 400. Stay tuned. guys so this is the carburetor this is the fcr 40 off of a yfz 450 okay now we have this right here okay this is your hot start cable for a dirt bike okay so we're going to show you what i do to get around that because the quads don't have a hot start obviously this is your choke okay now this is your tps sensor these ltz's don't have the tps sensor so i'm going to show you what i do to fix this shit also okay so listed in the description is going to be uh the parts that i used for this and everything so this carburetor came with all the extra lines it's got your pilot jet it's got your main jets okay now i, I suggest when you guys do this to buy this a new needle okay and then this right here is your fuel mixture screw. Now this is like a on the fly thing. I always put these on, I don't, you don't have to have it. You can use a small screwdriver, but it's just a pain in the neck. So this is um, something you can adjust on the fly. Now this is your DRZ coupler, um, whatever you want to call it, to the head to the carburetor. Got some new clamps. This is a Honda 400 EX thumb throttle. And this is a Motion Pro Plus 2 because I'm going to do a Plus 2 steering stem on the quad. So it's a Motion Pro Plus 2 throttle cable also off of a YFC450. Alright guys, so this is the TPS sensor. Throttle position sensor. So I took the wire off here. And now that right there, all that is, is just a spring that moves. Okay, so what we're going to do is put this in the vise and grind this off here and then throw some JB Weld on it once we take the spring and this off right here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like when it's ground down. So see the spring right here? When this rotates, it turns the, spin, the um, spring. So we're gonna take that assembly out. So just like this, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're just going to take some JB Weld and put it around right here. Don't fill this hole in here because that still has to go right there, okay? Alright guys, so this is stuff I got right here. JB Weld steel stick. Okay, it's a uh, really strength 4,000 PSI. Cure time 5 minutes and then uh, set time 5 minutes, cure time 1 hour. So this is good stuff. Okay, advanced auto has it. You can get it pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to show you guys how I put it inside here. Open this up. It's a two part, so there we go. So it comes like this. And all we're going to do is take, uh, remember, always if you use more than less. So that right there should be good. Put that down. Put this back in. So all you do with this is just mix it together until it's like a grayish color. That right there. That's when you're good to go. So start with this. Now, what we'll do is you don't want to get it inside that hole right there because like I showed you guys before. So you can just take this 
and that's like really all you need. So what we'll do, see how it's sticking through right there? We'll take, something like this we'll take it out all right here you go guys and just let that dry all right guys, so we're gonna put the NCVG needle in and we're gonna set it. Now for my application, yours is gonna be different. I'm gonna put it in the middle, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the needle on your FCR carburetor. So you're gonna take these Allens out right here. Okay, now take this cap off, don't lose this o-ring you'll have an air leak if you lose that so note that now what i do guys is to get it out <laughs> to get it out so what i'll do is i'll turn this up or what you can do is you can take your finger and go like this but you need a flathead screwdriver to loosen that right there so we'll loosen this cap So we'll take this out. And the needle actually came out with it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new needle right here. Okay, don't mix them up. We're gonna take this ring off, just a pair of pliers. Now we're gonna put this in the middle, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in the middle, so four, three on the bottom, three on the top. So what I do is I'll just go like this and be careful not to lose this clip, okay? There we go, got that clip. Now that's all the way in. So now we're just gonna replace the needle, same thing as we did before. Put this down in here. Now you can lift this up. And now guys, remember, this is all brass. You don't have to go crazy when you tighten these, okay? and put the cap back on when you're done putting your needle in. And once again, guys, this is aluminum. Don't go too tight and strip this. Okay, just, just snug. Oops. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is going to put the fuel mixture screw in, okay? This guy. So we're going to take this one out, okay? Just a flat screwdriver. All right, now this will just come right out. Okay? Okay guys, now note just how this one is. No washer or anything underneath this. Top of the spring, there's a washer and an O-ring, okay? So now note this one right here, okay? So it's gonna be the same thing. We'll take the spring out. All right guys, so
on this one there's two springs so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave one on the bottom and I'm gonna put this one here and then I'm gonna put this washer here now remember there's two sides to a washer remember there's a chamfered side and a non chamfered side you want the chamfered side up non chamfered side facing the o-ring and we're gonna put this just like this and now guys when you screw this in okay now this is for my application okay so guys when you screw this in okay we're gonna screw it until it seats you feel the o-ring seat okay nothing crazy so you felt I feel a seat right here so now I'm gonna go in until it seats okay so now the o-ring is seated so one so we're gonna back it off two turns just to start for my application so one turn two turns okay guys all right guys so i'm gonna go jet the carburetor i'm gonna show you guys where the jets are and everything so on my application i'm using a 165 main and a 45 i don't know if you guys can see that 45 pilot okay so just take this cap off right here now if you look inside here this is your main jet down inside there is your pilot jet okay now same thing take those out put them in be careful do not cross thread them they're brass you don't have to go crazy tight and the same thing with this cap here so o-ring seal right here so you don't have to go crazy all right guys so this is going to be the o-ring mod i don't use an o-ring on this okay i use safety wire okay now o-rings the reason why i don't use o-ring is because o-rings wear out Safety wire does not wear out. It'll be there for as long as you have this carburetor or decide to take it off. So this is already gonna be preset, okay? So there's very little wiggle or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna take your safety wire, bend it like this to get it up. So we gotta go through right here, come around this here then we're gonna connect it just like this, okay? Now, you leave it like this, and then get your pliers. Okay? Now, pull up and just start twisting. So this marries it. Okay guys, now all you gotta do is cut here and then bend it down. And there's your modification, your O-ring mod safety wire. All right guys, I'm gonna bring this back and grind this down, this hardened. So it takes uh, an hour for it to cure all the way. So I'm gonna grind this down here. If you look in here, like you saw before, there's nothing in it. And I'm gonna throw this on and then we can get to uh, taking the bike apart and throwing this uh, carburetor on the bike. All right, so that's how it looks right there. Now, remember I said the hot start. Now what I do with this is you just pull that off, okay? <laughs> Clean that off, there's some oil on it. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of JB Weld, just like I did over there, and fill that up. Okay? All right, guys, here we go. Just going to let it harden now. Should be uh, all set when I go to put the uh, carburetor on the quad. This, okay, this petcock, this is off of a Raptor 660. I'm going to have that link in the description. Now this is just what you need for... It's not, it's gravity fed, not vacuum fed like your stock one. So you need this for the FCR carburetor. All right, first step is to take all these plastic clips off right here. And here, I'm going to take the gas tank off. So, right, so you guys got to take your cap off to get this plastic piece off right here. There's two clips inside here to get these black pieces off or on your quad. Guys, the only thing that holds the gas tank in is this eight millimeter here this eight millimeter here okay take those off then there's a little piece up front 
right there that your tank slides into. All right, guys, takes your fuel line off right here. You take the tank off, which I already did. Now, loosen these clamps here. This one right here, pull the boot off like I did here. Now, the carb is going to come off, but you're going to want to take your thumb throttle, disconnect the throttle cable, and pull it through. Guys, now, once you got the carb out, take this boot off here. And then I like to wipe all this stuff down here. You can put your new one on right here. Now there's a certain way that this goes on, okay? Now this says up, so you face that up, and then this part here, on the bottom, there's a spot on the head that that fits on, okay? Now this isn't gonna line up with the carburetor one, so don't worry about that, okay? Okay, guys, so what I did to get this on is put this clamp like this. I cut this bar up top in half. I'm gonna put the other side on and I'm gonna weld a piece here so these two sides connect each other, okay? That's what I'm gonna do, but now the carb's on. It's all good. Now these two lines that go up top, route these to your air box, okay? Through into your air box. These are breathers. If you're going through a lot of mud, water, stuff like that, your carburetor still has to breathe and you don't want it to be under the quad and suck in mud and water and get clogged. The other ones are just drain, so. You route those down through here by the swing arm. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you everything that I did to make this work with your stock intake box and everything. So what I had to do is I took the box out, and if you can see, I cut all right here where the filter mounts to. So with this carburetor, with this DRZ, coupler right here it moves the carburetor up okay so that's why i had to cut that mount right there i'm still mounted it from the engine to this side of the frame i'm pretty sure that's going to be good enough but maybe later on i'll weld a bracket to this side here now anyways to get around that if you guys wanted you could take a a vehicle's filler neck tube it's about two inch diameter i believe and that will allow you to move it back further this way which will probably allow you to use your stock intake and everything in the intake box. But what I did is it moved it forward. I cut this, like I said, right here, okay? Then I had to put some electrical tape around this side of the carburetor because this, um, your intake is too big in diameter. So as you see, the bolt, it, or the clamp is already touching right here so i went out now you can run it this way everything's solid i use zip ties here one around the intake pipe itself and then two here and i've already rode like this so this held up um if you did this i would suggest maybe using wire right here but what I'm doing today is I'm gonna put the Fuel Customs YFZ450 intake in. So, I'll show you guys how to install that. Like I said, you don't need to do it, how I just explained it to you. All right guys, here's a better view of what I did to the box. As you can see, I just cut it. Now, if you go on my channel, you can find the video where I installed this Pro Design air filter and see what I did to the box, but I literally just cut the box out. All right, guys, so this is the Fuel Customs. Now what I'm gonna do is, since it's not made for this quad, this bracket right here that holds it, I'm literally gonna mark here and here, okay? And then I'm going to take a little slit here in the plastic and that should hold it in perfectly. And then the seat on top of it will hold it in also. Alright guys, um, so all I ended up doing was just cutting an angle right here. So this fits right in just like that. So I believe the seat will hold that down and we'll see how it is, but that fuel customs intake fits pretty awesome so there we are 
Here's a view from the back. It doesn't hang too low. Side. Also, I wanted to point out, I made a custom bracket for my ignition, my CDI right here. So when you take your air box out, you guys are also gonna have to do that. I just made a bracket out of aluminum. But, looks pretty good. All right, guys, so there was this breather that went to the stock intake, okay? Now this new unit from Fuel Customs doesn't have that, so what I did is I just cut some of my old filter off and wrapped it around here. This is just a temporary fix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Advanced Auto and buy the actual filter though that you can put on here. And I'm probably gonna extend this hose out a little bit further to the back in this corner right here. Just to let you guys know. Also now on the needle, I didn't, I set it in the middle, but you don't want to do that. You want to set it on the third one down, just to note that. The third uh, down from the top, okay? All right, guys, so I might actually end up putting a hole like right here and then actually routing this back in there. We'll see what happens. Um, so now I'm just gonna go out and put the plastics back on, test her out and see how it is. And I'll get back to you guys on how the upgrade performs. All right, guys, so in my honest opinion, this carburetor was definitely worth the money and everything it took. Even though it wasn't that much money, I tried to make a video showing you guys how to do it, basically the cheapest um, that you guys, so you don't gotta spend that much money. Now, the, th the carburetor gave me a lot more mid and top end. I still had my low end before it had a lot of low end, and then it kinda had mid, and then it just fell on its face top end. Now I have, roughly mid low and top it's a more linear power band so i'm really happy with it i hope uh this video helped you guys if you were thinking about upgrading to the fcr carb now mine is a fcr 40 so off of the yfc and then i did the intake the fuel customs intake i'll show you guys what i did with that i ended up putting screws in it so uh, it can hold it down. So if you see, I put screws right here and right here after I shaved that down. But everything works really good. All right, guys, if you like this video and it helped you, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment, share.